For the purposes of this video, we're talking about different kinds of searches. We're talking about police officers searching people. A lot of cops get this confused, and it's not your fault. Nobody's ever taught you. That's what we're here to do, help educate you. So we're constitutionally compliant and acting appropriately within the Fourth Amendment. There's a case called Terry v. Ohio, and Terry v. Ohio talked about the ability to check somebody for weapons. Let's just talk about that part of Terry v. Ohio. So what is a Terry frisk, a pat frisk, or a weapon search? Whatever you want to call it, it is a quick search of somebody's person, very, very quick, to ensure the person's not armed during a lawful investigative detention, to ensure that the person doesn't have a weapon to use or assault police officers or other bystanders. That's all it's meant to do. You can't go beyond that authorized limited frisk for weapons looking for contraband. It's against the Fourth Amendment. Here's a different kind of search. Maybe you have probable cause to search somebody's body with exigent circumstances. Maybe you don't need a warrant, but there's a lot of reasons why you might have the ability to check somebody looking for contraband, looking for evidence of a crime. That's very different than a path frisk. It's more intrusive. It's very similar or could be the same as a search incident to arrest. On the United States v. Robinson, the courts gave us this ability to check people pretty intrusively, albeit this is not a strip search or a body cavity search, but this is a search to ensure that we have discovered and uncovered all weapons and evidence possibly sought or used in a crime. This is important to know. You've got to be writing this stuff. You're going to serve up some clues to the defense that you don't know what you're talking about. Your prosecutor is going to get frustrated with reading your report saying, we don't know if we can go forward with this because we can't trust that you know what you're talking about. We don't want you looking embarrassed on the internet, on social media, in a courtroom setting, in your internal affairs division, or your personal reputation. That's why these things are so important to know. That's why we're advocating. Everybody wants the police to change. We're doing our best to help the men and women in law enforcement who are so honorable to do the work that they do, get better, be more professional, and gain more respect.